Cardiff Castle was built by the Normans in 1081, 15 years after their King William the Conqueror invaded Britain from northern France. Constructed on the remains of a third century Roman fort, this legacy of two major conquests was the seed from which the modern city grew. Though expanded and redeveloped many times, it remains an iconic feature of the Welsh capital. In the 1860s, this was the family home of the fabulously wealthy John Crichton Stuart. He hated growing up at the castle and later commissioned architect William Burgess to transform it in lavish Gothic revival style. Burgess added new towers, a roof garden, a sumptuous banqueting hall, and this magnificent 150-foot clock tower. During World War II, air raid shelters tunneled into the medieval walls protected 1,800 people. In 1947, after the death of Crichton's son, the family bequeathed the castle to the city of Cardiff. A few miles north of Cardiff, a castle that would grace any children's story towers above the village of Tongwyn Lys. This is Red Castle, or as it's known in Welsh, Castel Coch. It was built for the owner of Cardiff Castle, William Crichton Stuart, as a rural retreat, but he rarely used it. Although he died before its completion in 1891, the eccentric architect James Burgess recreated an authentic medieval fortress with three dramatic stone towers and a formidable gatehouse complete with drawbridge. English architectural historian Joseph Mondaunt Crook described it as the learned dream world of a great patron and his favorite architect, a fairy tale castle which seems almost to have materialized from the margins of a medieval manuscript. <laughs>